Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny. What do you guys think of my new intro for haul videos? I hope you all like it. So I've got a small little haul of stuff. Didn't get a lot in the last few weeks. I've been working my tail off and I haven't really been going out thrifting and when I do it's been slim pickings which is okay. I'm trying to get ready for the holidays and everything. Our holiday um, hours are now kicking in at work which means we're getting trucks every day now throughout the week. And I've just been, you know, enjoying my days off because I'm working so much. What I'm trying to do now is I'm going to try to go thrifting throughout the week because most of the time I'm probably not going to have weekends off because of the crazy weekends and time with all the money we're making at work and everything. So I'm going to try to mainly focus throughout the week. If I have a day off, just go ahead and go and try to get some listing done, especially if I have early shifts and I'm only there for like four or five hours like I was today. So I've got some great stuff, not a lot from Ollie's, Marshall's, the thrift store, um, Target, just fun little stuff that I like to find when I'm out and about, when I have the time. Um, first thing that I'll show you is something from the flea market, it's another one of those uh, melted plastic popcorn decorations that I really like to collect, I only paid a buck for this. Um, this is one that I do not have. I have a miniature version of this, which I've never ever seen before, so I decided to snatch that for like two or three bucks at the time. So yeah, I love collecting these, and I was happy to find that for a dollar. Now, I did get a bunch of pinup arcade cards, and you all know I've been on a kick for those lately. I bought a whole bunch of them from one seller on eBay for $44, and he threw in a uh, couple other ones that he had and I guess just to help get rid of them and I was really happy and it was real nice when he didn't have to do that. So I got those for 44 bucks and I got 58 of them so that equals 75 cents a piece. I have the ones that I didn't want along with others that I got in, in duplicate from other lots for $29.99 on eBay and those are going to be like an easy shipper for like three bucks which is good because I can ship it media mail. If you're interested in them, I will link them down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and watch the listing or if you guys want to go ahead and just buy them outright, they're right there if you want them. I don't really want to show them. I've tried doing that before and it just, it gets, it's, it's difficult to show them all because they're, it takes time. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just run through them real quick. There were some that I got with Esther Williams and Linda Darnell, which is kind of cool. So I hope you guys can see them. There's one that's, um, I think, uh, Earl Carroll's Foley's Girls. Yeah, Earl Carroll Vanities, sorry. So those are kind of desirable in the pinup world. Sorry if you can't see them real well. I'm trying to be fast here. So I thought those were cool. I love buying these things in bulk because they tend to be cheaper than buying just one that someone wants six or seven dollars for and then you have to pay shipping on top of that, which to me is a little insane, but what am I going to do? So the one thing that I got from Target was on clearance. It was originally $5.99 and it was reduced to $2.98 is a Super Mario Brothers keychain featuring, of course, Mario. And it's the 1980s, I guess version. It says Super Nintendo on the tag, even though the tag is beaten to crap. But that's what he looks like. I thought he was super, super cool. And when he was only $2.98, I had to have him, especially because he was $6 originally. Why my camera decides not to focus, I don't know. So I apologize for that. I'm going to try again and see how well I do. There we go. That's better, right? Maybe it was just because I was up too close. There we go. So yeah, I got that for $2.98. Um, I did... I don't really ever buy books with Marilyn Monroe, but for some odd reason, I think it was because these were the last copies that Ollie's had. So I got Marilyn, Her Life in Pictures. This one was regularly... I guess they say the price was $24.99, and then they charged $12.99. This was the last copy that they had. I'd looked at it several times before in the store. 
and when they had multiple copies and I guess this one just sold out so I decided to go ahead and pick it up it's got some really really great pictures of Marilyn in it. let me see if I can find some of course this one is actually my phone screen background she just she was such a photogenic woman like my god and she was a beautiful thing too sorry things sounds bad objectifying women sorry just these I love I love Marilyn to death I if I was alive at this time and I was in Hollywood I would definitely want to go out with her there's some I don't want to show you guys every picture but stuff that I find on the internet that's very blurry and then I see in this book very clear and concise I had to have it there are just some, there's one picture of her that I have in this book that I fell in love with. Like, I love all her yoga poses and, oh yeah, L.A., love those. Here's her, one of her yoga poses. There's a picture of her with a car that I absolutely, oh yes, her bikini shots. Love those. Her wedding day to James Dougherty in 1942 at the age of 16. Personally, if I had to choose between getting married at 16 or going back to an orphanage, I'd get married at 16. I'm sure a lot of people would have. Here's another good one from the Blue Book Modeling Agencies. Those are awesome. I wish I could find that picture of her in the car. Of course, the one time I'm not looking for it. I find it, and when I do need to find it, I can't find it. Let's see if I can flip through here real quick. Sorry, guys. I know I'm taking up valuable recording time, but let's see what I can find here. This book has some of the greatest pictures of her in it, and I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have probably seen it. This, like I said, cost me twelve ninety nine. I I really just decided to go ahead and get it because I'd looked through it several times and I said, you know, it's the last copy. I might as well just buy it. Now this book was a really good deal, and I had to have this one. This is Marilyn in Words, Pictures, and Music. Um, the CD is missing, as you can see, and Ollie's put it under the Ollie's Foley's, which is. Um, Basically, merchandise that's missing something or does have some significant damage to it, and they mark it down. Um, they put a line through the tag so that we know that it's part of that sale. This book originally cost twelve ninety nine, and it went down seventy five percent off, so I only paid three dollars and twenty five cents. Again, another great book to own if you are into Maryland. Like I said, I don't really buy these books, but these ones are really good. They actually, I think, issued this book in 2009, and then they revised it again five years later. So this is the revised edition. I was kind of happy to find that. So, yeah, I was really, really excited to see that on sale, because I was like, I had been hesitating for years to buy it. And then finally, lo and behold, it goes on sale, and I had to have it. So, yeah, just two really fun books to have. I mean, they're probably just going to go on my bookshelf, like I have with all my other books that I keep, because I don't have many. So I thought that was cool. From Ross Dress for Less, you know, it, that store is always hit or miss because you just, they don't get as much stuff as, like, TJX, like the company I work for. But I did manage to see this on the rack. I thought this was really cool. This is a good old day shirt with an NES controller on it, circa 1985. I thought that was super cool. This only cost me, I wonder if it'll show up. On camera maybe not $6.99 I can't wait to wear this this is back in the day before technology took us over but I thought that was kind of cool with the font and everything I'd seen other ones that I liked but this one just kind of stuck out to me so I was like you know what I'll take it alrighty from uh, thrifting this is not old old but I mean it's old enough for a lot of people to remember Chuck E. Cheese, as you all know, is a very, very popular kid's place. I remember playing at it as a kid, or playing in that place as a kid, and I enjoyed myself. 
Now, a lot of people are collecting like the 80s Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse, oh my gosh, Chuck E. Cheese stuff. I know Golden Finger Picker had been posting a lot of stuff on Instagram about Chuck E. Cheese signs and stuff from the 80s that people were going nuts over. So props to him for finding that stuff and getting some good money out of it. I never would have thought in a million years that Chuck E. Cheese stuff would be valuable at all. But this isn't one of those items that you'd win like as a prize or something. This was something you actually went and bought. It's uh, by the company Whammo. It's from 1999, so it's about the same age as my brother, 19. I paid only $2 for it. Um, what it is, is it's a pizza factory, and I guess you could make your own pizzas. Like, it's a, it's like the unisex Easy Bake Oven, is I guess the best way to describe it. This is what it looks like. It's not new in the box, but it does look unused, so that does help with the value. Um, the only thing that's missing is this piece right here, which is like the spatula to take the uh, pizza out of the oven. Um, with that being said, I still think I can get $30 for it because everything else is there. Even the tokens that are in there are new and sealed like they were never even touched. So from $2 to $30, I think that's going to be pretty good. At least to me, considering the box is really in bad shape. But hey, I'll take it. Um, another thrift store piece, which is not terribly valuable at all, but I just really liked it and I think it's going to go on my jar. This is like a little ballerina. I don't know if it's going to focus for you guys. I'm sorry if it doesn't. As you can see, her tutu is pretty messed up. Probably just going to end up taking that off. It came out of a music box, and in the box itself, it says, ballerina taken from spinning top Carol had when she was little. That was $1.50, which may have been a little bit more than I should have spent on it, but I wasn't finding anything. So I just decided to pop on this. It was the only thing that was vintage behind the counter, so... I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to probably take the tutu off, which I'll do right now. And I will just put her in my jar of small stuff, which is what I like to do with things like this. Those things don't really go for that much anyway, so I don't care. And maybe it was not bad. And I bought something else that's going to really make pay that thing off, so it doesn't bother me. Um, another thing that I thought was really, really cool is another book. This is, again, from the 90s, so it's not vintage vintage, but it's it's older. This is a book called Death of a Model, and it's by Clifford L. Leindecker. This is about the model who was killed in California. Her name was Linda Sobeck. She was 27 at the time of her murder. Um, this book is based on the Forensic Files episode Photo Finish. I'll link that in a card as well as the link to the Film Rise YouTube video down below if you guys want to watch it. Um, I do want to warn you guys, though, as as scary, I guess, as you could say Forensic Files is because it gets so detailed, and sometimes the pictures that they share of certain things are very, very graphic. You get hooked on that show very, very easily. I know I did. I've been watching it since I was a teenager, and of course it used to wig me out. But I've gotten better about it, especially as I've gotten older. Because anyway, I paid a dollar for this book. I want to read it. While Forensic Files does give you a lot of details about what happened during that case, the book tends to give you a little bit more detail. So I'm excited to read that when I finish the other books that I'm reading. And um, it was only a dollar. I had to have that. Another thrifting piece for 99 cents. I got this... Uh, this is a whale. I think it's from the 60s. If you guys don't know what these are, this is a dresser caddy. They... They're used for, like, you can put your rings up here, watch wallet, and then maybe, I don't know, some other thing. Uh, paid 99 cents. Um, another one was listed on eBay, and it didn't sell for $35 with free shipping. Um, I'm going to have this up around Christmas time, which is, you know, now Q4. I'm probably going to throw it up for 35 bucks and uh, ask shipping on it. I only paid 99 cents. Again, it's unmarked. It does have some flaws on it. I don't know if something's up with the glazing. Uh, if you guys know what the cause of that is, let me know in the comments. It's got some light white spots all over it. I'm probably going to have to redust it and clean it because it's uh, it's pretty dirty. And then there's some crazing on the inside, which is expected of an old piece. Again, I would date this to probably the 50s or 60s when that thing was popular, and I don't think they were ever marked. I know I did sell one of these that I bought with a whole bunch of other stuff for $7, and it was colorful, and I sold it for 30 So I don't think I'll have any problem getting 35 40 bucks. But like I said, I'll see what happens. From Marshalls today, I got this really, really rad set of um, Child's Play shot glasses. 
I didn't look up the these to see how much they go for. Um, one set sold for 20 bucks on eBay, and I'm not going to resell these because Child's Play is one of my favorite horror films. Now, if you want my opinion, I would say Child's Play 1, 2, 3, and The Bride of Chucky were the best of the series. Seed of Chucky was stupid, Revenge of Chucky was stupid, and Curse of Chucky to me. They just, I'll watch them, but I didn't, they were just, they just didn't meet my expectations. But, um, this is, the only reason I bought these is because A, I love this, um, flick, and I thought they were really cool. They definitely have the graphics of the 80s. Um, this set I got at Marshall's. It'll focus. It was $7.99, so basically $2 a shot glass, which is not bad. I'm sure if I went to Spencer's, this set would probably be closer to $20. So I was happy to get that, and nobody else was popping on it, and I love Child's Play, so I had to have that. Now, for the one piece that is extremely hard to find, and if you guys collect or know who Ray Dunn is, I'm not really a fan of that stuff, even though I have a ton of her mugs and we love the stuff. Um, just because it's really, really crazy right now, and even a lot of people are upselling this stuff, and I don't want to be a part of that. And plus, I work for the company that sells it, so I'm not allowed to even resell it. As much as I want to, I'm not allowed to because I'm under strict guidelines for that. But I took a chance with this, and I, I'm glad that I did because I was able to score one of the uh, Christmas birdhouses. It just says home on it. Um, these retail, this one specifically retails for $16.99, and I got it for $15.30 with my discount. Um, it's part of the Christmas line, but I don't really mind it because I can put it out all year round. As soon as my mom saw it, she freaked out. She's like, I love that. And we're going to put it out at Christmas time. And I have it sitting in a cubicle, um, shelf right now. Um, I've looked up comps for these just to see what people are asking. And some people have them up for over a hundred bucks, 125, 150. One of these just sold for that much, not that long ago. So I was pleasantly surprised and I'm glad I took the chance and got this because these are hard to get. This is one of the hardest pieces of her line to get. And I mean, I get her mugs and I'm still looking for my Bewitched mug because Bewitched is my favorite 60s sitcom. So, but I'll take this for now if I have to wait another year to see if I can get the, the Bewitched mug. I don't mind. But yes, uh, $15 for this and it's over $100. I just watched one end last night and it sold for 100 bucks. So that's, I mean, it's ridiculous, but I mean, I'm happy I have one that I was able to snag. So yeah, that's everything that I wanted to share with you all in this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to click that bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when a new video is posted. Also, you can follow, on, blah, blah, follow me on all other social media accounts. That's all linked down in the description below. Don't forget to check out Photo Finish, and don't forget to also check out my eBay page if you're interested in anything that I share with you all in my videos. So thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.